Okay, now continuing with the, this uh, 3810, uh, the uh, scales are all titanium. That's correct. This is the push button lock. Mm -hmm. So there is no, as we were talking about earlier, no liner lock, no frame lock. It's strictly locked by this button here, which um, appears to be, you may be able to see that moving. Now, I'm going to let you know, this is one of our prototypes. This one is a little bit trickier. Our prototype, this one specifically, is a little dummy. A little, a little finicky. Yeah. A little finicky, but honestly, those should be ironed out easy peasy by the time we get into production. Also, the great thing about this is because it does look like an automatic to help prevent further problems, especially with, you know, certain states that have issues with those. Um, this is actually a three-inch blade, so that is going to meet that requirement, so you can... So it, it meets that criteria all the way around to avoid a legal problem for exactly. most folks. Exactly. Yeah. So that does happen from time and again. So, we're so to Kershaw, help that once again, looking out for their end users, to. not wanting to have to fork over some bail money or a legal defense fund. Exactly. You know, I've heard about that legal defense fund with Kershaw. Oh, really? There's these elves. There were these elves that uh, I think they were picketing one time, and they decided they wanted to go, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, a little bit of a a labor situation. They did. Some of them got some jailhouse uh, education, yeah, jailhouse lawyers. Yeah, we need to protect our health, so we need to get them out. Exactly. So those guys, you know, I understand that it's spinning into a whole new thing. Yeah. Perfect. So another thing I do want to show you guys is everyone... I like that transition too. Oh, and perfect. Now we're going to move on. And now we're going to move on. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. So this is our cryo. A lot of people know about our cryo. Overall, best night of the year last year. This is a great piece. It's going to be that nice size. A lot of people were asking. Hey, can I get in a bigger size? Well, guess what? Now, very quickly, mm -hmm. the cryo, mm -hmm. and I was very fortunate. I, I uh, was able to obtain about eight or nine copies of this that went out as gifts uh, a few months ago. And uh, it, it's uh, as for the size, it oh, is. It, it, it was received very well by a lot of guys that will be using these and have been using these in the field, as they would maybe with a knife almost twice as size. And it's a great price point for anyone oh. wanting a Rickener design who doesn't want to go into the ZT knives. Slim profile, honestly, that deep carry pocket clip, how great it fits. But this right here is the big brother to the cryo. This is the cryo two, the 15, a larger 56. cryo. It is. So you can see that when you put those in comparison to each other. Now I have an uncle who I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat some of his terminology. Uh, beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. beautiful. This is beautiful. And that's a good thing. It can mean a lot of different things, but <laughs> in, in this case it actually means beautiful. It means beautiful. Yeah, this is very nice. I like the size of this. I don't have massive hands, but uh, needless to say even if you did have hands coming back to the uh, the uh, rear portion of the grip or the rear portion of the scales, you would still be able to fill your hand with this thing. Very well done. Very impressive. And so, then as a comparison. Yeah. So you're going to see that MSRP price for this guy is going to be that $49.95 and this is going to be that $59.95. So $10 difference, a little bit bigger. For uh, about what? Maybe 10% more blade? Possibly. Yeah, okay. I'm not all that great on percentages, so we'll just... Well, I, I, appreciate, I appreciate your support. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so one big thing that we do have this year, we have a lot of colors coming in. I know some people are pro color, other people are not, but this is something Well, they can we buy another have. knife. Exactly. So, what we do have new this year, we have some new scallions coming out with purple, olive green, and a navy blue. Then we also have our leaks, the slightly larger version of that scallion be that purple, the olive green, and orange that is absolutely beautiful. Goes great with colleges as well as sport teams. And this <laughs> black leaf with a stonewash blade. Oh, that's very nice. It's beautiful. Oh, but you're I, talking like my uncle now. Yes, beautiful. You know him, don't you? I'm going to copy you. He knows a lot of people. <laughs> so one thing I do like to tell because some people ask me, and I like showing this, why is it called an onion? Ken Onion was the designer for these knives. So you'll see right here I have a chai. Not to inflate his ego, but uh, a, a, a very, uh, a very good designer and, and an outstanding gentleman. Exactly. As well. So we have the chive, the scallion right over here, the leek, and the shallot. These are all going to be that step up variations. And if you notice with the names, they're all going to correlate with that name of the onion and the size of it. Right. So when people kind of get looking look at it, you kind of know what's going on. Now, have you ever had a customer say that they believe that uh, the knife is supposed to be used to prepare that particular onion? You know. I <laughs> It'd be very entertaining to see. So she's a big guy. Yeah. Exactly. So with the newer knife designs, I believe in the ZT knives. I did get to show you a new knife 
produced from a new designer that we're working with, Todd Rexford. You did mention Todd. So right here we have two new manual knives. We have the nice 380-30, which is going to be our injection 3.5. And then we're going to have a zero, this injection um, 3.0. These are going to be a nice machine G10. It's going to have the nice machine thumb set as well as the pivot. You can see it has a really pretty design. The texture on this is very nice. Really good grip. Almost us. <laughs> not, not to uh, pontificate, but uh, almost a silky uh, texture. You like that silky I do. comment? Yeah. Just the overall design though, it's one of those really pretty, it adds extra grip but it's still smooth so it doesn't tear up your hands. And it's liner lock as well. Liner lock, yes. It's going to have that 8CR13 MOV steel. Very smooth, easy, one hand open and close. Very nice. Perfect. So over here we're going to be bringing up a few new Kershaw knives. These are going to be our shuffle. I honestly love this knife. It is a new manual knife we do have. It's great, easy, one hand open. It's got that really nice belly on that blade. A lot of people make comments about it skinning. I can't tell you, I know off the top of my head because I have not skinned anything recently. It would make a very good skinner. And you call this the shuffle? The shuffle. Shuffle. So uh, a card, oh, and it's got a bottle cap. It's got, of that. course, we have to have that I feature could, in at least one new knife, right? You're thinking of Stuart here. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> without me even asking, by the way. Perfect. Not that I have any special connections, but uh, you know, in all honesty, that's a, and, and that does not really, you know, interfere with the grip. No. A lot of manufacturers, when they when they make uh, something like like this um, solid metal piece here at the rear, I don't like to I don't like to use certain terminology that sounds uh, too terribly offensive. Or when they put something else like this bottle lifter in the back, it, it really has a tendency to kind of interfere with your grip and, and to be a little uncomfortable. And especially yeah. now, you're not going to work with anything too heavy duty with this knife. No. But nonetheless, even so, as as hard as I'm gripping this knife, you're it, not having a problem. I'm not noticing it. You know, and it's not digging into the heel of my hand. And even that bottle opener sometimes can be a hindrance, and it does have that nice curve to it, so it's not a problem. It also has this great design for the back spacer, deep carry pocket clip. This piece of metal that you were talking about, it's actually a great lanyard hole for the, anyone with a paracord or wants that lanyard, but it also doesn't make sure it's a screwdriver. So if you're in like any sort of right. grip needs, you can do It's it. not too pointy to, to dig too much into your clothing or exactly. your hip when you're wearing it um, or your hand and not so much that it would necessarily cut you, but like you said, just narrow enough that you could use it for most large screws. And what I love too about this knife is not just the name. The name actually, in my opinion, has that nice feature, the shuffle. You can put your hands right here where the main choils are, but it also has that choil up here on that blade, so you can shuffle your hand. And choke up on the blade exactly. a little bit. Exactly. And especially if you're doing some detail work, which is what you'd want to do. Exactly. So this is going to have a new K texture that we're going to be coming out with. This is a prototype, so it's not on here. So it's going to be a softer texture that you're going to be having. This is just the plastic. Yeah. Okay, so this is not the material that the... Exactly. The, so this is a prototype version. It is going to have the 8 um, MOV CR, sorry. Kind of like a Craton or a Packmire exactly. or a softer material. Exactly. So overall with this knife though, that MSRP price is going to be $24.95, which is a great deal for the MSRP price. It's $24.95. Okay. So a nice little knife, especially for something if you want to use it as a box opener and just have a nice tool around. Throw it's nice to first. see Kershaw able to come out with some lower price point uh, yes. items as well. It's nice to have them. So this right here. Are you going to? Okay. Now this is a, a surreptitious way to try and put the. Uh, I, I won't use a particular country, but to put the copy companies out of business. So they're not going to be able to really compete very much uh, with most of their target audience or their, or their target. Or fingers That's always the hope. We do want to keep our line with us. We do want to prevent those copycats. We those like Lmax our... elves are always ahead of the game. Always, they're always trying to crypto aren't something. They? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So this guy. One of our newer knives as well, very similar to the shuffle in design. This is going to be our free fall. So this one is nice. I love the stone wash blade. The grinds on this blade, very detailed. It has that kind of modified tanted tip. I'd kind of like to say it's a little bit like that spanto, but it's not technically. Spanto. The spanto. Love that. Spanto. Watch out for the spanto. <laughs> it is you know what? Somebody's going to come out with a movie by that name, by the way. The spanto. He'll the be spanto. a special superhero. So this is going to be the 8CR13 MOV steel as well. You're going to be having that stone wash finish, very smooth, sweet assist. And frankly, with this raised section, as we were discussing earlier, yep. uh, with the metal in the back for either a lanyard or what have you, even this, uh, with this design, it's not really uncomfortable to really grip tight 
and I wouldn't imagine even if